Hi, Pete Moore, Gunmark TV. I'll say it for the off, I love Swarovski products. Over the years, I've uh, managed to acquire a set of uh, 10x42 EL rangefinder binos, which is brilliant, and two scopes, uh, Z6i and ZAI. And I just really think the quality is good. Um, presentation is great. And even though I've done a lot of this work for 20, 30 years, I always get excited when I get sent a new product in Swarovski's signature green box. In this case, it's a new set of binos um, with the curious name of NL Pure. Most unusual. And I thought, oh yeah, okay, another set of Swarovski binoculars. So you're having a set, set of my own and notes and test yourself. I wasn't expecting anything amazing. But what came out of the box is something quite different. As you can see, they're quite compact. Um, and they've got this very distinctive body shape here, almost like someone's crushed them in a vice. Obviously they haven't, but which does make it uh, very comfortable to hold. Um, and they've gone away from the double bridge system of the ELs and now got a much thicker single bridge, which shows a large, very large focusing wheel, which is great. And also you can adjust the um, diopter adjustment on the two barrels from here as well. Usually it's done on the barrels. Uh, usual, you know, magnesium bodies, green rubber armor, which is a signature of Swarovski, along with their little, um, their little bird of prey. Um, eye caps come up as usual for glasses wearers and non-glasses wearers. Now, if you could guess what spec these are, you'd probably think they were something like 8x42s. They're not. They are 12x42s. And that's a lot of mag to pack into what are a very small set of binos. These are smaller and lighter than my, than my EL 10x42s. And what, what these really, really are, they offer the most amazing field of view. They are quoted at, um, I think it's 149 meters at 1,000 meters by Swarovski. And you can imagine that's, that will pay dividends out in the field. Also, even these 12s will go down to three meters on focus. I'm not saying you need to look at something three meters away, but it's not just for us hunters. It's for the birders and, and, the, and the wildlife people who want to look at stuff. Um, you know, they are, they are just very, very strange. So I've only just got these, and this is not a test. I'm hoping to do a test next week before I have to send them back. This is just to show you guys that things move on. And Swarovski, once again, have hit the nail on the head. And they come with their new um, strap system, which is QD, which makes a pleasant change. Nice set of um, one-piece rear eyepiece protectors and clip-on flip-off front co uh, lens covers, which is really good. Um, okay, big deal there, binoculars, you might say. Um, and what can you do with a set of binoculars? Well, you know, you know what they are. But if you want to go a stage further, and this I thought was really strange until I started using it, this thing here is a forehead support. It clips in, there's two little holes there, it clips in there like that, locks in. I'll just take my hat off. And this wheel there, as you can see this pad, which hinges, it's rubber pad hinges, goes backwards and forwards. And the idea is that it gives you more stability in the aim. So basically, you look through them before, like so, and then you can adjust this pad so it sits on your forehead. I don't know if you can see this here. And believe you me, as daft as it sounds, um, it really does make a difference because you can, you can hold it one hand like that and the stability, you've got three points of contact with the two, you've got three, both hands of the forehead or one hand of the forehead and they are very easy to focus. I'm focusing on some grass about 50 yards away and it's pin sharp. Um, it does, these don't come with the binos but they are an option and you may think big deal, but it's quite clever. You can leave them on unless they're on their own. Um, they're quite clever. But I'm going to be taking these out when I'm hunting, comparing to my EL 10 by 42s uh, and then do a more in-depth test on them, low light, this sort of thing. 
Uh, as you can imagine, with a Swarovski item, they are reassuringly expensive. I think they're around about 2,300. Yes, you may gasp at that, but end of the day, when you want quality optics, you have to pay top money for them. And my Swarovski stuff over the years has been dragged around the world, got wet, got smashed, got bro not broken, dropped and things, hot, cold, and it still worked. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of money for me to buy, even at trade prices, but they are what they are. And so, the, the NL Pure range, they also come with 8 and 10 by 42 option, um, and we'll look at them closely in the next video. But I thought you'd like to see them and just see how the world of optics is changing.